Yo, what's going on guys? It's Ampli. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make UV animated weapons. Now there's not too many videos on this topic, mainly because you have to do it a very specific way, but I'm going to be providing you guys with the meta files and everything else you need. So in all reality, I'm only making this video for one reason, and it's this guy right here. So there's a guy in Psalm's Discord asking for some help, and this guy is gatekeeping the method, and I don't even know why, it's really not that hard. But other than that, let's get into it. Fuck this guy. So first off, you need to come over to Blender. This is where everything is going to happen, obviously. If you don't know how to use Solemns, this might not be the right video for you. I'd recommend just learning a little bit of Blender and a little bit of Solemns. Other than that, it's not too hard. So this is a base game weapon. It's the Carbine Rifle underscore M31. The reason I chose this weapon is because by default, it has the $100 sign bill UV on it. So what I went ahead and did, I uh, separated it from the base game weapon, so this is what it would look like normally, and then I went ahead and added this. So you need to have your UV animated model under a different name. So I went ahead and added underscore skin underscore zero one into it, and this is where all the magic is going to happen. So first thing first, you want to come into your materials node, and then you're going to go into animation tracks. All you got to do is press the plus button. And this is very basic keyframing, so you want to make sure you start off at 0, and I'm just going to end it at 60 because I'm going to do like a looping replay. Alright, so we're going to start it off at 0, 0 to begin with, so you're just going to press this dot right here, and then I'm going to go ahead and move this uh, timeline over to the 30th frame. We're going to set this to 0 0.5 for both axes. So what that's going to do, it's going to make it have like an upright direction over the keyframe span. We're going to go down to 60 frames now. We're going to set that back down to zero. And we're going to keyframe it once again. So once you guys do that, you should be able to see the animation within Blender. Here you can see it's going back and forth. If you want it just to go straight one direction, go ahead and start at the zero frame. Set it to zero once again. And then on the 60th frame, go ahead and set it to 1.0. Alright, once you have it all keyframed, the next step is to press N to open up your sidebar. Go ahead and move down to your Psalms tab. Then you're going to go into Animations, Create Clip Dictionary Template. It's going to give you these. Go ahead and click Animations again, Create Animation, Create Clip. We're going to start off with Animations here. Find the Psalms tab inside your um, Object Properties. The hash, it doesn't really matter, so I kind of just name it whatever. You don't want to have overlapping hash values because I do believe it can mess up. So I kind of go off of what I'm making. So in this case, I'm going to name it Carbine Rifle M31. You want to set your action to the correct one. If it says zero on the left side of it, that means it's an empty action. Once you do that, you're going to go down to Material and you're going to select your uh, material name. I kind of already forgot mine, so I'm going to get it real quick. So in this case, it's W underscore AR underscore CR underscore notes, etc. All you got to do is set that inside the animation target ID. So the next thing you got to do is move on over to clips. The hash, you want to copy it from the animation one. Just go ahead and paste it in there. So for this part, it's really important for the name. Put in the same hash, but you have to put in dot clip. This is super important. Do not mess this up or else your animation isn't going to work. So for your duration, you're going to take your total amount of keyframes here. So in this case, minus 60. You're going to do 60 slash 30. That's going to divide it by, uh, well, 30 to get your total duration. Then go on to linked animations right below it. Click new. And then you're going to select animation. You're going to see your hash actually turn into a hash ID. You don't need to worry about that. I do know some people trip over it, but there's no need. All right, so you're going to rename your clip dictionary now. You're going to do clip at, and then once again, it doesn't really matter, but if you want to keep it uniform, go ahead and name it the same thing. So here we have clip at carbine rifle underscore M31. That's perfect. Now all we got to do is an archetype. You're going to click this. Once again, it really doesn't matter what you do, so I'm just going to name it Carbine Rifle underscore M31 again. And then here, you're going to get your uh, skin model. You're going to do Auto Create from Selected. So everything's blank right now. All you got to do is copy the name over to Texture Dictionary, 
So for clip, you're going to copy the same name that she did for your clip dictionary. And just go ahead and place it right there. Then you're going to move on over to flags. You need UV anims. That's going to start you off at 1024. Then you're going to go ahead and press auto start anim. This is kind of important. I'm not going to lie to you guys. This whole animation for weapons is very gimmicky. It depends on certain things that I'm not even 100% sure on. Alrighty, so once you get all of this done in Blender, all you need to do now is export. So we're going to be creating a new folder for our export. I'm just going to go ahead and name it export. It doesn't really matter, it's just for better workflow. You're going to export all the files you have within Blender as well. So once you're inside the RPF archive, you're going to go ahead and move over all your export stuff. Sometimes you could get lucky and the animation will work straight off the bat. In this case, we didn't, so you do have to restart your Code Walker. So once you're inside Code Walker, you should have four files. You're going to have your Y type, your YCD, which is going to be the animation if you've never had one before, the main weapon, and then your skin. Go ahead and double click your skin, and as you can see here, it's animating just the way I set it to in Blender. It's going back and forth. So once we have this, I'm going to go ahead and link this tool down in the description. It's a super easy way on making add-on weapons. I went ahead and edited it, so it's a lot easier to make it. Everything's preset, essentially. So the one you're going to go ahead and select is Rifle Skin. Weapon name, it doesn't really matter. It's going to be uh, in-game that shows it. So go ahead and name it whatever you want it. In this case, I'm going to do Animated Rifle. For the weapon ID, we're going to do anim rifle, and then over here for the weapon model, go ahead and click browse. Uh, there's a folder in here named export, you can go ahead and use that, that's what I'm going to be using in this case. So once you go ahead and drag your files in there from the RPF Explorer, you're going to see all of these. For your weapon model, go ahead and rename rifle skin over to your name, in my case it's M31. And since I only have a YDR, it's going to show the rest red since they don't match names. Go ahead and press next. You could go ahead and configure it to whatever you want. There's a lot of settings in here. But what we're focusing on here is components. Go ahead and go all the way down to the bottom and find component underscore rifle underscore skin zero one. Now this is kind of where it matters. Here you're going to see W underscore AR underscore rifle skin. We're going to swap ours over to carbine rifle underscore m31 underscore zero one. Add a component, make sure it's enabled, and over in export you should see that both of them are colored. This is being used for the rifle skin, and this is the main rifle right here. Go ahead and click browse, export, and just click export. Alright, so here you're going to go over to export, and you'll see the files you dragged in, and then you're going to see the folder name going off of whatever you named it here in the weapon name. So we have animated rifle in my case. You have your manifest, your weapon names. This is going to show in game in your weapon wheel. You're going to have your stream files right here. You need all of this in here. And then you're going to have your meta files. This is where it gets really gimmicky once again, like I said. So you're going to have your weapons.meta and the weapon components that matter most. If you go ahead and scroll down here, you're going to see these here. And I'm still working on the tool, so this top part you don't need. The bottom part is what really matters here. So you're going to attach it to gun underscore root, and you're going to set the name to component underscore rifle underscore skin zero one. Set the default to true. Go over to weapon components, and right here, this needs to be matching the name that's inside weapons.meta. You're going to set your model to whatever. Your location name and location description doesn't really matter. You could uh, customize that inside the CL underscore names, weapon names. However, your attach bone does matter. Make sure this is set to AAP grip. So now we're going to go back into the export folder. We're going to copy the animated rifle and we're going to put it into a resource folder. We're going to rename it all lowercase with no spaces, just to make our life a little bit easier. So this is where it gets a little bit gimmicky. In numerous testings, I've had to use UV maps to, I think, essentially instance the object, and without it, it won't work from what I tested. 
However, I'm not too sure if anyone down in the comments section might be able to have some knowledge on this, so go ahead and drop it down below. And just go ahead and create a new project. We're going to name it something that isn't conflicting with others. So in this case, I'm just going to name it weapons underscore anim. YMAP, new entity. And then we're going to go ahead and go on over to file. Open files here. We're going to find the folder where we just went ahead and put in all of our YDRs and Y types. Go ahead and open up those files. You go back into your entity. And you're going to rename it to your weapon skin. So in this case, it's carbine rifle underscore M31 underscore skin underscore zero one. You're going to see it here. It should be animated in game. If it's not animated in Code Walker, you have an issue already. So go ahead and go back into the tutorial and figure out where you went wrong. Go ahead and set your LOD distance to 99,999. Once again, I'm not sure if this is required. It's up to you. Go ahead and do your own testing with it. Make sure you calculate extents, calculate all flags, and go ahead and save it. Save it into your stream folder, and make sure you create your manifest. Once again, this is super important. Don't forget it. So once you have all your files inside the stream folder, including your YMAP and manifest file, so once you have all of that set, go ahead and load up into your 5M server. So once you've loaded into 5M, you can go ahead and spawn in your weapon. So as you can see right here, it's animated on the parts we made animated. I low-key do want to say thank you to this guy named Retcon. I wasn't too sure about the weapon animation thing until he sent me a tester file that he had for it. I'm not entirely sure where he got the base file, but it did lead to essentially the entire discovery of it. And then I also want to say thank you to V3SC. You guys might know him from his server V3PVP. Pretty awesome server. Go play it. He helped me out with some of the weapons meta. Same with Pac. He owns the arena PVP server on 5M. Also a pretty cool server. Once again, help me out with the weapon metas files. 